Hello everyone, this is Craig Condon. Welcome to another edition of the Sermons from My Heart podcast. This message is entitled, The Love of God and the Ten Commandments. It's based on Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 21. I'll read that passage to you now. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of your Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but in the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not commit murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. Now all the people witnessed the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, You speak with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, and that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Ten Commandments define the life God wants us to have with Him and with each other. Every aspect of our lives is to show that we belong to God. The Ten Commandments are minimum standards for a just society and are the framework for how we are to live our lives. We are to reflect God's righteousness and justice by obeying God's commandments. These are the building blocks for functioning society. These rules will never be out of date. These rules will never change. These rules will never budge because they are eternally the same. The phrase, I am the Lord your God, is mentioned 12 times in Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 through 21. It emphasizes his authority and his relationship with his people. They show the love he has for us. God knows that it will be almost impossible for us to perfectly obey these Ten Commandments so he can heal the broken relationship when we break one of the Ten Commandments. These rules deal with our relationship with God. For example, God is a jealous God. That is why he does not want his people to worship other gods. He loves us so much that he wants the very best for us, and the very best is for us is worshiping the one true God. God loves us so much that he wants us to keep his name sacred. That's why we are told not to take his name in vain. God loves us so much that he wants us to set aside one day a week to worship him. That is why he tells us to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. These rules also deal with our relationships with other people. Honoring our parents means loving them as much as God loves us. God wants us to love one another as much as he loves us. If we do, we will not kill, commit adultery, steal, covet our neighbor's goods, or lie. Our love for God will bring us to our knees because of our need to be loved. If we obey God, it shows our love for Him, and it is good for us as well. These rules also deal with our ethics of life. 
God sees that the issues addressed by the Ten Commandments are wrong because they go against moral laws. God wants us to respect the hazards of sin. Appropriate fear of God makes us reverent, obedient, and worshipful so that we will not sin. We will obey the commandments because our commitment to God gives us an overwhelming desire to obey Him. In fact, we are required to obey God when we hear His voice. The Ten Commandments force us to take responsibility for our actions. They are to be part of our response to what Jesus did for us on the cross. God is a mystery. He has hidden many things from us. These hidden things combined with our sinful human nature to create a gap between us and Him. Throughout the Old Testament, several of God's prophets, such as Moses, tried to close this gap. The only person who has successfully bridged this gap is Jesus. Jesus is the mediator between us and God. God tries to restore our relationship with Him through the Ten Commandments and the Two Great Commandments. We can't ignore this relationship. If it is to be an exclusive relationship, God must be our number one priority. The Ten Commandments are the required response of a grateful people. We are grateful, but we are not perfect. That's okay, because God sees us through the eyes of love the same love that caused him to send his son Jesus to pay the price for our sins. God hopes that we will look at others through the same eyes of love. We are not perfect, but God has prepared a place for us with his saints. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you for listening to this edition of the Sermons from My Heart podcast. The text of this sermon, as well as texts of other sermons I have preached, can be found on my website, www.sermonsfrommyheart.wordpress.com Comments and suggestions, as well as financial donations for the support of this ministry, are often always welcome. You can reach me by email at super underscore craig at hotmail.com, or you can find me on Facebook. Until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.